that low pressure has on the car. But just before that, the team first needs a baseline. So the truck is removed from the track to see what the force of the oncoming wind is like on the car alone. With the smoke off, it may look like nothing's happening, but the wind is roaring past the car at over 50 miles per hour. And Grant gets a reading. Okay, so it looks like we got a good baseline. Definitely. 0.142 pounds. And that is just the wind on the car alone. So that's the control. The question now is, will this figure reduce with a semi shielding the airstream? We're now full seven car lengths away. Do we have any drag whatsoever? We have 21% drag reduction. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. For Carrie, that was the wow factor. So how about when the car gets dangerously close? First, they wind the truck in to decrease the distance to five inches, or 10 feet if this were full scale. All right, so we're at 10 feet. That's a 60% reduction in drag. Whoa. That is insanity. <laughs> All right, we're at six feet away from the truck. That is ridiculous. I don't, I don't think I'd want to drive that close to the back of a truck. No, Let me tell you. You might want to reconsider. 80% reduction in drag. You're not oh definitely God. drag. Let's go to the suicide zone. All right, let's go to two feet. What are we reading? You know what's crazy? We're reading 93% reduction in drag. Are you serious? Yeah. It's an astounding result. But would this actually translate to fuel savings on the open road? Well, there's only one way to find out. The team will have to go full scale and test this myth for real. This is great evidence for us to 